today, Mr. Leomov. How are you? My name, of course, is Mr. Pryor, as you, well, I hope you know. Um, today I'll be talking about microwaves, specifically microwave ovens, because microwaves as a whole are too broad, too broad a top. So first of all, what is a microwave? Well, a microwave is a form of EM, or electromagnetic radiation, uh, that is magnetic and electric fields oscillating at right angles. Uh, microwaves are specifically EM radiation within the range from 1 millimetre to 1 metre in wavelength, or 0.3 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz in frequency. Um, some other uses than microwaves in microwave ovens are for communications, uh, remote sensing, so radars, positioning, so such as GPS, microwaves are used to transmit signals from satellites, and also for other uses of power, such as transmitting energy over long distances. So let's look at microwaves. How are microwaves produced in uh, uh, microwave ovens? Well, at the heart of every uh, microwave oven, you've got a device called a magnetron. And this magnetron is the machine which generates the microwave frequencies. At the core of the magnetron, you have a cathode filament, this device here. Excuse my messy writing. Uh, the cathode filament is a um, thermionic emitter, so it emits electrons uh, by heating up the filament. These electrons are attracted to the outer anode, because it's positively charged and electrons are negatively charged. Um, this is called the anode vein block. Um, but that is not all. So, in theory, the electrons would go like this, towards the anode. But there's also, if we have a side view of this, uh, a permanent magnet. So that's the side view. And we have a permanent magnet wrapped around it. North on top, south on the bottom. Easy. So this magnetic uh, magnet, permanent magnet, creates a magnetic field running down through the space in the anode vein block. So I'll just draw some crosses signifying uh, magnetic field running down into the board. Now as we know, um, electrons in magnetic fields spiral at right or move, experience a force at right angles to their uh, motion. So um, if we use our right hand curl rule, uh, so the magnetic field is travelling into the board, uh, right hand curl rule states that the electrons would travel clockwise, like that. Now, as these electrons spiral clockwise, past these little segments here, called um, anode veins, which is the little metal segments, which is part of the anode um, between the cavities, which is just space, uh, the electrons, as they pass, charge positively these little um, anode veins. As the electron passes the anode vein, it, uh, the charge dissipates and the electron charges the next anode vein, creating an alternating current. This alter uh, it's all wired in a way, so this alternating current is passed to an antenna, which then creates a microwave. So how do these microwaves uh, heat up food in microwave ovens? Well, uh, most foods contain at least some amount of H2O molecules, which are dipoles. Uh, this means uh, that the hydrogen part of or side of the um, water molecule is slightly positively charged and the oxygen is slightly negatively charged. Uh, these attract to each other, creating these dipole clusters or intermolecular dipole-dipole bonds. Um, when this happens, it creates random thermal motion or thermal energy, um, heating up the food or the water. Um, when these uh, dipole clusters collide, these bonds are broken, um, absorbing energy. But uh, this is happening at the same rate as each other, so the net temperature of the food remains the same. However, in microwave oven, ovens, the electric fields uh, disrupt uh, the dipoles because the dipoles want to align themselves with the direction of the electric field in the microwave. 
Um, so it is common for, as these dipole clusters are aligning themselves with the electric field, for these bonds to be broken. Um, this then creates more dipoles with potential electric energy that then can be bo uh, bond again and transfer this potential energy to thermal uh, motion energy. These dipoles are still colliding, absorbing energy, but the electric field are pulling apart these dipoles, creating more potential energy at a greater rate that they're colliding and absorbing energy. Hence, the temperature of the food increases. Um, not only water uh, is a dipole though, other dipoles in food include fats and sugars. Uh, but if these weren't dipoles, then you couldn't heat up food using microwaves. Thank you.